This video is the first in a series of guides to help people tackling the LXL GCSE Astronomy Unit 1 Understanding the Universe Written Papers. The first paper I'm going to be going through is the June 2011 paper. Okay, so all of these papers start off with some simple knowledge questions to begin with. So question 1a, which of these objects in the solar system has the smallest diameter? Earth, Jupiter, the Moon or the Sun? The answer, rather obviously I hope, is the Moon. B, which of these objects in the solar system is closest to the Sun? Earth, Mars, Mercury or the Moon? C, Mercury is closest to the Sun. Which of these objects in the solar system takes the longest time to orbit the Sun? Earth, Neptune, Pluto or Venus? The answer is Pluto. What is the name of the dwarf planet that orbits closest to the Sun? The answer is Ceres. C-E-R-E-S. Question 2. What is the value of one astronomical unit? 15 million kilometers, 150 million kilometers, 15 million miles, or 150 million miles? The answer is B, 150 million kilometers. With a lot of these, you can rule out certain answers if they aren't in standard units. So anything that mentions miles isn't going to be the right answer there. 2b. What is the name of the shape of the Earth's orbit around the Sun? Eccentric, ellipse, ecliptic or ellipse? The answer is D, ellipse. 2c. What is the name of the plane of the Earth's orbit around the Sun? Ecliptic, eclipse, zenith or zodiac? The answer is A, the ecliptic. D. How many hours and minutes does it take the Earth to rotate on its axis once? The answer is 23 hours and 56 minutes. And both parts are required for the mark. Part E. How long does it take the Moon to spin once on its axis? A. 27.3 days. B. 28 days. C 29.5 days or D 31 days? The answer is A 27.3 days. Question 3. There is a rough sketch of the Moon shown. A. What is the phase of the Moon in this sketch? The Moon in that sketch is a waxing gibbous. How many days into the lunar cycle is this? A. 6 days B. 10 days C. 17 days or D. 28 days The answer is B. 10 days It's almost halfway through the 27.3 day cycle. C. What is the phase of the moon during a lunar eclipse? If you think about what a lunar eclipse is, then you'll realize that the moon must be a full moon when a lunar eclipse takes place. Part D. In the space below, sketch and label the relative positions of the Sun, Earth and Moon during a lunar eclipse. The sizes and distances do not need to be for sca to scale for these sort of questions. But to my mind, it makes sense to at least have them approximately correct. So these are the Sun on the left, the Earth and then the Moon. So I'm going to label them S for Sun, E for Earth, M for Moon. The two marks here. One mark is for having the three bodies in alignment. The second mark is for having Earth in between the Sun and the Moon. Question 4. 